Hello everyone, welcome to my videos on comics and toys and today we're looking at my Marvel Hot Wheels collection and I've recently got back into collecting Hot Wheels or toy cars but I've only really got the superhero ones I used to have loads when I was younger, all the Corgi and that sort of stuff and I had loads of the old original Batmobile sort of thing <coughs> but, <coughs> but I lost them all to toy heaven or they got given away or just disappeared over the years so I started collecting them again and I was in Sainsbury's and I found some sets and I thought I'm going to collect these They're pretty cool but these ones I actually found in Asda and it's the Avengers Age of Ultron cars that were released for the film and the only place I've seen them is is in Asda so never seen them anywhere else and they're probably all, all gone now but there was eight of these cars and look at the first one which is Nick Fury here he is Samuel Jackson and look at the back quickly so um, just shows the different types of cars you can get I haven't opened these and I'm, I'm not going to open them either I like I like them on the packaging but yeah there's the the Nick Fury car if you can see it and that's number one number two is Captain America not very nice picture um, I always think he looks strange without his wings on his head, Captain America, but yeah, the car's okay, it's pretty good. If you can see it there, that's number two. Number three is Hawkeye. And purple and black for his costume. Not too bad car, pretty nice. Number four is the Hulk, and it's a, a van thing with Hulk's face on it, which looks quite stupid. Can see it then getting close yeah that's probably not the best it's quite nice it's shiny but yeah it's okay that's number four number five is the vision and this one's quite a basic one but it's quite nice green and yellow bits on it I'll show you the bottom of it how exciting that is but yeah not too bad the vision that's number five Number six is Iron Man, and that's quite a nice paint job on that one. Nice gold tyres, sting rod apparently. Yeah, not too bad for Iron Man. Oh, moving the camera there. That's number six. Number seven is four, and it's quite a weird shape on that vehicle. And it's got his name written on the top of it, so he knows where to find his car in the car park. And there's Thor. So that's number seven. And last but not least for this line is Black Widow. And the car is black, surprisingly. So, yeah, not too bad set. Not brilliant, but I thought I'd pick them up. They're only about £2 each, I think. So that's it for this set. Next up we have the Guardians of the Galaxy series. And I think these are still available. They've just brought out a couple of new ones. But we've got Star-Lord here, first of all. That's quite a nice car. These were done quite nice. These are a bit more expensive. These are, I think they're five pound or five ninety nine. That's got a picture on the back of the of the vehicle and some of the other vehicles you can get. But yeah, these are quite nice actually. I th think this is all of them now because there's something else to do really, unless they do a Thanos one, I suppose. But that's Star Lord. Then next we have Gamora with her sexy green skin. And there's her car, which is uh, it's quite nice. And it's got a painted picture on the back of her vehicle. Next up we have Drax the Destroyer. This, this one only came out recently, about a month ago. So I picked these up in Sainsbury. So it's got a sort of tattoo cover to it. Same as his skin. And the back has got a painted picture. So that's Drax. Next up we've got Groot with this weird fucking looking vehicle. It's a lots of lorry but it's very strange. There's the front of it there. I can't see it. I can't really see it properly. Anyway. There's the vehicle so yeah. Very Grooty. He is Groot. But, yeah, it's a strange vehicle but kind of cool. And there it is on the back. And you can fit Rocket Raccoon on the back of it which is 
the next vehicle coming up. So there is um, Groot. And then last but not least on the Galaxy Guardians of the Galaxy line is Rocket Raccoon. This is a tiny little one. And it's quite a nice paint job. There's Rocket there. Cute little vehicle. Oh, let's see if it's shiny. And there's the picture on the back. So that's all the Guardians of the Galaxy vehicles. Next up we have the Ultimate Spider-Man line, which is from the Ultimate Spider-Man cartoon. That's I think it's still running. It's called Web Slingers at the moment. But uh, there's the first, I think this was the first, first Spider-Man car, I'm not sure. But yeah, it's a very weird looking one, but it's a really nice packaging, um, really nice artwork for these. And let's have a look at the back. And there is bugger all on that. But that's one of the Spider-Man cars. Then we've got another of the Spider-Man cars, a strange shaped stubby thing, and that's Spider-Man with his... Uh, pelvis broken there by the looks of it but that's the other spider-man car not too bad nice and shiny so I quite like these I think I've got all this range now I've seen a few more in the shops but um I seem to have all the the ones that they've brought out so that's this spider-man car next up we got spider-man 2099 and it's quite a surprise to see this one but it's quite cool I remember the comic in the in the 90s and um He's um, resurfaced again the last couple of years. So that's Spider-Man 2099. It's not, not too bad. Next up we have the Lizard. In his ultimate Spider-Man form. A bit different from the normal Spider-Man universe. And it's got the Lizard painted on him. So once again if he gets lost and can't find it in the car park. You can see his own picture on it. The vain little bastard. But it's quite a nice car actually. That's uh, the lizard. Next one of my, I uh, used to be one of my favourite characters is Venom, and this is quite a nice one. This one has got a nice roof to it. Really like this one. It's always had nice um, costume Venom, but he's been changed over the years. But this is the Venom from the Ultimate Universe, so he's not um, Flash Thompson. This is Eddie Brock again. So. Yeah, that's quite a nice one. That's Venom. Then we have Spider-Man's old foe, Dr. Octopus. And this is quite a strange vehicle. It's got all these tentacles on the side and all these bubbly things on the top for the, for the uh, cockpits. But uh, he looks a bit strange, Dr. Octopus, in this. I've not seen him in the cartoon. Um, but yeah, that's weird looking, but not too bad. So that's Dr. Octopus. Then next we have the Rhino, and he looks very strange in his um, ultimate form. There's a pickup truck there. Uh, quite nice. But, uh, yeah, I've seen the figure of this in Toys R Us. It looks very odd. Uh, anything's better than the, the last Spider-Man film Rhino costume. That was abysmal. But, yeah, that's the Rhino. Next we have Green Goblin, and this is the ultimate spider-man green goblin so he's not the mask wearing version he's the monster version from the comic or cartoon and yes yeah, quite nice colors on it and um, i haven't really seen much to do with this green goblin so i have to wait and find out about this but there's the car with oscorp oh, on it so that's the green goblin car and next we have sandman and this is a really nice car actually, so it's actually sandy looking. It's a quite strange paintwork on it and quite like Sandman. And uh, yeah, it's, uh, done really well this one. So that's the Sandman. And then last but not least we have Iron Spider, the costume Tony Stark gave to Spider-Man in Civil War. And they made a car out of this one. Yeah, it's quite strange looking, like a hot rod sort of thing, but... Yeah, it's not too bad. So that's it for the um, Ultimate Spider-Man range. And I've still got most of these. I've seen them, seen them in Entertainer, Toys R Us, which got them in really late. And they have them in Sainsbury. So if you want to collect them, you can pick these up. And I've got one more set to show you. And then the last set I've got to show you is the normal Marvel Universe line and this is a set that sort of sold it to me I, I like the 
the artwork at the top of it and the cards are really nice as well so they're still releasing these and I think I've got all of them now but I think I've got a couple more last week on sale and um, yeah they seem to be bringing out a few more but I think that's all of them now so that's Captain America it's got a really sort of traditional design for it I quite like that and the artwork's really nice as well and then the back of it just as a, a painting and the different cars you can get so it's the same as the Guardians one but these are really nice these are about I think they're 5 99 I picked them up on sale last week some of them so these are the the older one that's Captain America see the top of the car there next we have Ultron and nice picture but the car's not that brilliant but it kind of it looks like Ultron and they've recently um they've brought a a pack out of there's about five cars I think and you get a different colored Ultron car but I've not brought it because it was 25 pound I thought it was a a con for that much money so I didn't buy it so there is a limited pack like they do with the Star Wars ones which I haven't brought either because there's just too many of them but that's Ultron next we have four and he's got his mallet on the front for a bumper and it's probably one of my least favorite ones but the artwork's nice but yeah it's a bit strange that's not too bad it's okay so that's the four vehicle it stands up and next we have spider-man that was in this line because he's an avenger now so i suppose it's not really an avenger series but here he is but this one looks like actually looks like a squash spider it's not brilliant but yeah there we go i've got it for part of the set so that's spider-man then we have the hulk with his big jeep thing it's got um purple pants on there for his, the back of the car and the green at the front wheels but yeah it's quite a quite a cool vehicle not too bad a bit different from the others that's the hulk then we have another hawkeye vehicle that um this one only came out about a month ago it's about nine pound on ebay so i waited and luckily luckily enough got like um one from the shops that's hawkeye not too bad Shame he hasn't got his mask on. Then next we have War Machine. This is a quite a strange looking vehicle. It's like a big bathtub, but yeah, it's quite nice to see a, a War Machine car. It's good they're doing some some of the more obscure superheroes. And there he is. Next we have Iron Man, and this is really nice and shiny. This one the vehicle's a bit strange, but I really like the colours on it, and the picture's really cool as well. So I think this was the first one I got actually sold it to me so I'm now buying all of them that's Iron Man next up we have Wolverine it's quite strange seeing him in vehicle uh, got his claws for the well, kind of bumpers um, yeah not really shiny it's not got the best paint job on it but yeah it's got a nice, well, it's got a nice picture at the top so there we are so I had a game so that's that's Wolverine I've still seen these ones in in town then we have the Rhino, I picked this one up the other week, it was for sale on eBay, going for about £9, but they seem to be getting them in now, and uh, it's quite a unique looking vehicle, but I had to get that one, there it is. Next up is another Black Widow, and this one's a lot better than the Age of Ultra one, it's really nice and shiny, and it's designed really well, it's got really nice uh, red windows, so this is a really good one, I picked this up a couple of weeks ago, so you can still get this one. Then we have Venom, and this is probably one of the worst ones because it's got a really weird shaped body on it and it looks really cheap compared to the others, but I had to get it. I suppose it could have been nice if it was shiny, but it just looks a mess, this vehicle. I suppose like it's a symbionite. But this one's recently come in Toys R Us and Sainsbury's. And then we have Ant-Man, these little friends there. I wonder if Anthony's one of them. And this is... This is a really cool vehicle, this one, it's got, um, it's in the shape of his helmet, as in his mask, not his penis, and, yeah, he has a nice and shiny helmet, if you pardon the expression, but this one's come out the other week, and, if you haven't seen the film, I very much recommend seeing that, because it was really, really good, I was quite surprised, and it was 
done partly by Joe Cornish who used to do one of my favourite shows Adam and Joe show so check out the Ant-Man film and that's the car that kind of goes with it and here is the penultimate of the vehicles and here's the Falcon and I picked this one up the other day it's quite good and it was going for quite a bit on eBay but prices have dropped down now so strange looking vehicle transparent tyres but I had again so that's the Falcon and then last but not least is the Hulkbuster Iron Man suit and this monstrosity of a vehicle I picked up the other week and it's fucking massive compared to the others it kind of looks like it's based on Groot's design I think but it's very shiny and it's the Hulkbuster armour so that's pretty cool so yeah I hope you like this video and um, hopefully they'll bring out some more Hot Wheels Marvel figures, vehicles, keep calling them figures. Hopefully, they bring out some more Marvel vehicles soon, and I will post some videos when I get another collection. But yeah, I hope you enjoyed this. Leave some comments below, whether they are rude or nice, I don't care. And hopefully, I will see you very soon for another video.